Hi, good morning, everyone. So uh, this is David Lee. I'm presenting for Group 11, uh, along with Emma White and Alexi Hilbert. Uh, our topic today is on Ebola virus disease. So what is Ebola virus disease? <coughs> Ebola virus disease is a rare and deadly disease. Uh, has, has occasional outbreaks on the African continent. The disease was first discovered on, in 1976 uh, at Democratic Republic of Congo. And it was discovered by the river, which name was Ebola River. And um, there's a village right next to that river. And they got the name Ebola from that river. So Ebola virus is named Ebola virus. Um, Ebola virus is an animal-borne virus. Um, and it's a very deadly di uh, virus, which the fatality rate can go up to about 90% on the main strain of the virus. There are seven names of this virus. Uh, actually, all fall under the Ebola virus disease genus. There's Thyra Ebola virus, Sudan virus, Thai forest virus, Bondi Bokyo virus, Reston virus, and Bombali virus. So the first four uh, of the seven virus um, is was known to causing disease in humans, and it's actually very harmful. Uh, Reston virus was known to having an effect on non-human primates and um, uh, also with pigs. From body virus, uh, it's a virus that's unknown for its effect to either human or animals, but it was uh, recently identified in inside of bats. So what are the symptoms for Ebola virus? As you can see above in the picture, you can develop fever, severe headaches, weakness, fatigue, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, and unexplainable bleeding or bruising. So the last one is actually for, um, it's a main reason for mostly of the Ebola virus disease uh, death because you can develop major hemorrhaging like inside of you or probably like outside of you too. So the causes for Ebola virus. Ebola virus is through direct skin contact or just contact with the infected animal, even with in person, like with uh, infected pers person. So it can go from animal to person, um, to person to person. Uh, it, it go from direct contact with, uh, such as blood, um, by the infected person on um, objects, which is like exposed the needle, clothing with blood on it, infected animals, such as fruit bats, non-human primates, and also body fluid, which is like blood or uh, anything else from a person, um, infected person, even if he or she was recovered from Ebola virus disease. And there's a thing called incubation period, which in that period, um, the symptoms and um, the symptoms of the disease won't be showing. So, and you also don't have the ability to transmit the disease, which make um, the disease is much harder to cure because you can't uh, just give you the antivirus disease when you not seeing the symptoms of the disease. So the pathophysiology of the disease. So diseases, you can see up there, it's like a warm looking thing. Um, so the, it's a virus infection. So it has like glycoprotein spikes that uh, most likely to go attach to the host cell. And then the virus entering the host cell by through the mucous membrane. And also migrates from the initial infection site to your lymph node and transfer from lymph node to the liver and to sp spleen, etc. And also attacking human's immune system by going through, by uh, attacking the white blood cells. And then causing level of blood clotting cells to drop and then causing a severe bleeding. So prevention of this disease is pretty uh, simple and self-explanatory. So just avoid all contact with body fluids of people who have DVD. Avoid infected items, clothes, uh, bedding, uh, medical equipment. Avoid contact with um, all the kinds of animals that uh, might be the possible source of carrying the disease. Diagnose, diagnosis for uh, this disease. So the early symptoms can be detected pretty easily, but often get mixed up with other more common disease such as malaria, common fever. And it must be a, so for uh, Ebola virus to, um, to, you know, as Ebola virus, so it must be like a combination of symptoms suggestive of Ebola virus disease and a possible exposure to Ebola virus disease within 21 days. And once you got the Ebola virus disease, the isolation is required. And also you can run the PCR for Ebola virus to distinguish um, if you got the disease or not. But PCR is really hard for 
of people who develop the flu virus to the later stage, because then the virus in your uh, blood cells are more, um, it's just like everywhere, and the PCR won't do anything. <coughs> so uh, last but not least, treatment. Uh, you can do antiviral drugs, but like I said, uh, it's very hard to for antiviral drugs to do anything while uh, the person is in incubation period, uh, which you won't see any symptoms, and it also often gets, gets mixed up in early stage with other common disease. So antiviral drugs is um, useful. And the first uh, treatment for Ebola is actually called Imimazab, which is a mixture of three monoclonal antibodies. Uh, Imimazab works by targeting the glycoprotein that was on the surface of the virus, which then binds the glycoprotein to block so it's used to block attachments and enter the virus and also prevent the virus from like copying each other and um, just get more and more. So the early treatment include uh, intravenous virus and uh, fluid, uh, fluids and electrolytes, oxygen therapy, medication to control symptoms, treating other infections with as needed, and the blood transfusion. And that would be end of my presentation.